nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy Big John and G. Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. God, you did watch last week, did you? You got to see the core box and everything that was in that? Huh. Now, we got to move on to the Oz Call Fortune portion of these unboxings. So the next thing up, I want to delve right into, my friends, straight up, and that's the Alliance. I want to see who these other heroes are. I'm liking what I saw so far, but I want to see them in person. <laughs> yes. All right, my friends. So please, you and me together, we're going to do this like we always do, my friends. Down at the table, you and me are going to find out what's in the Pixies box. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun, right? <laughs> Come on. I'll see you down the table. And here we go. It's yes, Return to Dark Tower. This is the Alliance expansion. And it's going to add two more playable characters to the to the game. As well as this new uh, thing called the Guild. Uh, the Guilds are going to enter into play here. And this also says we have power skulls, new skulls, imbued with the power of blight, omen, frost, and fire. That's pretty cool. Let's dig right into this. Because I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to... Checking this out. What about you, Foo? Yeah, you're still excited. You're still buzzing with excitement over everything that you've seen with Return to Dark Tower. Ha 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 ha. Yes, maybe someday you will be able to break into the tower and take over its power. But for right now, let's just look at some boxes. Yeah, alright, Foo. So if you will just hand over this knife that you keep in your hat. Uh -huh. Come on. You want to see the new heroes? You want to see the new monsters? I don't know if there are new monsters. Haha, <laughs> got you on that one, Foo. All right, everyone. The incomparable Fu Manchu. Can you go to a safe spot there, buddy? All right, so, whew, everyone at home, please remember, always cut away from yourself. Uh -huh. All right, there it goes. Looking better and better without all that glare, wouldn't you say? And, uh, yeah, that's new heroes. The Arkwright builds battlements, and the haunted recluse exerts mastery over skulls. That could be very important. And look, the beast. Oh, who out there remembers the original game? The beast. You can always carry so much more stuff. It was a key factor to winning the original game, was having the beast. So you could carry so much more food. Oh, and everything else you needed. There we go, slides off nice and easy. Uh -huh. Rules, notes for the expansion. And of course, it's set up exactly like the core book rule book, which is good. That was set up nice. Okay, everything you need to know. Mm. Okay, cool, nice acknowledgements. Ah, oh, there we go, the skull types. That's what we were looking for, right? Okay, nice. Oh, what is this monstrosity? Hint on the back? No. Oh, these things are falling out real easy. Look at that. I'm like barely even exerting any pressure on them and they're coming out. All right. So these are all the new uh, tokens and shits. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. 
Heroic action. Choose one. And here goes one of the boards with the guilds, the Druid Circle, and the Arcane Scouts. It's an A, and there's a B side. We don't have to get around to examining what the difference is for that. And here go the other two guilds. The Th oh, of course, the Thieves Guild and the Paladin's Order. Again, side A. Yep, and there's side B for everything. New player boards, of course. The Arkwright. Kind of cool idea for a character, these two. Working on the buildings and working on the skulls, right? And the Haunted Recluse. A bag for its tokens and stuff. I like the way this is kind of sitting there angled. Is that on purpose? I think so. Okay, well, let's, let's delve right into some of these cards here. All right, so remember, remember, be careful. All right, so it looks like we got uh, two decks kind of worth of cards with the treasure cards and these uh, ally and creature stuff, like we were just pointing out there, of uh, Maxim the Beast. You can carry up to four extra treasures when you gain a treasure. Also gain uh, two of that resource right there. Plus two beast advantage. Very right, nice. Let's have things like Zira the Oracle. Keep the top card of the treasure deck and potion deck face up. At the start of your turn, you may move the top card of either deck to the bottom. Oh. And then let's just randomly look at one in the middle. And that is Shanzar the Zealot. Virtues cost you two less resources. Plus one wild advantage for each virtue you have after your first three. Oh, okay. Those went right in here. And then we have a whole bunch of treasure cards. Whole bunch going on here. Like the Paladin's Great Shield. At the end of the month, gain six of those resources for each rank of the Paladin's Order. Plus one wild advantage in the kingdom with the Paladin's Order. <laughs> oh, what about the uh, Zen Mayor's Teeth? Ew. When you cleanse Power Skulls, Remove them from the game and add a regular skull to the bag for each power skull that you removed. And finally, let's take a look at the Crystal Blade. Plus one wild advantage for each other treasure that you have. That's pretty cool. Nice image, too. Nice. I like the artwork. All right, so we got uh, two miniatures. Should we uh, pause and, and uh, take a look at them? If I can actually get them out. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's take a look at them up close. Oh yeah, they definitely look very cool. Can't wait to see them on the board. <laughs> and uh, these are for them, right? The new uh, and oh, 
And what is this? Oh, like little flags? Oh my God, that is so cool. The original game had a, a flag for each of the countries. Is that what this is? I don't know because I can't get it open with these fingers. <laughs> Here we go. That's exactly what this looks like. There's the old flags. Oh, they, they're all different. Oh, cool. All right, let's, let's get a close up of these as well. But they definitely look cool, and I like the whole reminiscent flashback thing, like I was saying before, about how they, uh, you know, the, the, it feels like the, in the original game, and the little flags that you had. That was cool. That was cool. All right, we'll uh, put these put these back and move on. It looks like, oh, I think the only thing else we have to look at here are those skulls. So let's move on to that and take a look. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll take a close-up look of each of these four colors. It's nice. Let's, uh, let's, let's do that. Oh, yeah. They're cool, just like the, the ones in the, uh, you know, at first in the game, you know, the, the base game. I like the, the paint job and the fact that with those colors, they definitely kind of pop out. They look pretty good. All right, so now let's just get everything back inside the Hall of Justice. <laughs> getting back in where it belongs, and I will deal with, I will deal with the chits and tokens shortly. But for right now, I just want to put everything back in so nice and lovely and packed away. There we go. Everything that you're going to expect to find for yourself inside Return to Dark Tower Alliance's expansion. Now, let's see if it was worth it. I hope so. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for checking out this unboxing with me, everyone. I'm your buddy, Big John at G for Two Gun Picks and Presents. Legendary Gaming and I am out of here. <laughs>